Rachel Burke. The Prime Minister admits the nation hasn't done enough to prevent cybercrime. Anthony Albanese chairing a roundtable in Sydney announcing a new national agency to tackle hackers head on. This is really fast moving. It's a rapidly evolving threat and for too many years Australia has been off the pace. Our government is determined to change that. Some of the ideas to be discussed include a ban on paying hackers a ransom and more power for government to intervene when a business is hacked. Jetstar passengers are battling for compensation after being stranded in Alice Springs, then forced to leave their baggage behind on their return to Melbourne, while the check-in system at Gold Coast Airport is back up and running following an IT glitch. Some welcome news to doctors' ears. While New South Wales and Victoria push back, Queensland will become the first state to introduce pill testing after success of a trial in the ACT. Despite all the debate over the years, Nicole Higgins from the Royal Australian College of GPs says the most important thing is health, not politics. We hope that all states follow the lead of Queensland in having mobile and pop-up sites. We need to be where those pills are being uh, used and taken. And as the evidence shows, once people know what is in those tablets, they will often not take them. And there's $16 billion in lost and unclaimed super across Australia, according to new data from the ATO. That's an increase of more than $2 billion bucks since last financial year. We're being urged to check our account and see if some of the money is ours. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. A group of former AFL players suffering long-term effects of concussion could be set to receive millions of dollars in compensation with a landmark class action set to be taken to the Supreme Court. Michelle Margulit from Margulit Injury Lawyers has told the ABC it's similar to a recent high-profile case in the US. We expect compensation to be in the same vicinity as the NFL class action, so many hundreds of millions of dollars. And Stephen May has likely escaped sanction for a hit on St Kilda's Dan Butler, making him available for Melbourne's round clash with the Western Bulldogs. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, one and John. This is SAFM weather. 21 for the rest of the day across the Limestone Coast. Tomorrow, 19 and a shower or two on Wednesday, top of 20. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the listener app, search for the Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now.